Olympic medalist Marco Fontana of Italy has been a real advocate of e-bikes. He's just fresh from the World Championships and chosen Wes to be his first event after that great competition. Let's hear from him now. Marco, we're here in Bologna, which is great for you, but uh, we're just off the back of the world, first world e-mountain bike championships. And this sport's moving so fast, isn't it, in terms of development? How important was that point to get to, to actually have a world championship? Well, I mean, um, you just have to look at, at the start list and, and the results sheets to understand how important it was for the brands and for the riders to be at the first ever world championship e-mountain bike. So uh, I think um, it was a turning point, really. Uh, I think um, you know we had some really good 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 things happening, and some that they we could we can improve, but it's uh, it's like this, right? When when you have a new thing, it's uh, it's normal that you know some some things are very good, some some less. But uh, it was good to see lots of big names out there. There were big names. I mean. You were there as an Olympic medalist. Julian Absalom was there uh, in the women's racing. We had some fantastic racing as well. So do you see now that the, the mountain bikers who were staying traditional mountain bikers are now crossing over and starting to see this as a really a sport that's going to go somewhere? First of all, it's, um, it's a matter of what riders want because I mean this is my choice you know I decided to to do this and to race e-mountain bikes and just have fun but at the same time push myself to the limits and uh, I think uh, as we've seen during world champs um, it was a matter of also who of the big names decided to to, to say yes I want to do this or I don't want to do that um, and uh, in my eyes, for sure, the, the big brands, they really wanted to have someone out there to compete at World Champs. And it's going to be also important for the brands to push some of the riders to, to compete at the world's level like, like we're doing now. Albeit it's quite small, the terms of numbers right now, but if you look forward and you've taken the decision to kind of say, right, I'm going to go full into e-mountain bikes, if we look forward three, five years, where do you think this is going to be? I think it's going to be like when we we see three, four, five years back what e-mountain biking was and how e-mountain bikes were. You know, I, I mean, you you think that they are like 15 or 20 years back, but it's just three, four, five years back. So they grow a lot in terms of you know capacity autonomy and speed and stuff so i think it's going to be the same like i'm pretty sure we'll have different sort of racing i'm pretty sure we're going to have like long distance one we're going to have kind of cross country enduro uh different challenge but um yeah it, it's going to grow i mean it, it's growing in numbers in terms of sale selling but uh racing wise it has to grow as well when you're on your social media, because you're really active on, on social media, and I follow you and, uh, and find out where you are and what you're up to, um, how many questions are you getting? How much interest are you getting in where this is all heading? Now, a lot, a lot. And honestly, when the, my plan, like the season plan started, I had tons of questions and some were positive, some less positive. But most likely positive, I have to admit, uh, now it's uh, kind of technical questions on uh, like you, could you make it to do that or that that far or you know or settings and stuff so it's interesting to see sort of uh, different comments and uh, lots of them like you know oh damn it's so nice I want to do that you know I I just uh, I'm changing my mind and I want to do that now so it's it's super nice you know I'm not I'm not like uh, I've always been kind of a, a pure rider in terms of uh, communication. I say what I think yeah. and and this is what's good now, you know, because I say these things is good and, and it's because this is really good. Yeah. And people are now starting to see it and they're, they're grasping it, which is fantastic. Uh, we've got two rounds of this series left. What are you looking forward to? Uh, two different ones. Uh, look forward to compete today and give my best. 
uh, in Italy, see some some good friends, and then uh, have a nice trip all the way to Barcelona and and make sort of a different content, you know, where you you make a sort of like a big trip, you know, it's it's quite a trip to to go all the way to Barcelona. Uh, but I also have some friends there, and I also look forward to 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 end the season in a in a nice way. And the food's going to be good in both places. <laughs> yeah, food. You know, you have to look for good food. You know, you, you'll find it. You'll find it. Rook, thanks very much. Uh, it's been great seeing how you've really encompassed what this is all about, and uh, I think we will look forward to both of us. I think seeing where we are as this series develops thanks of course i mean uh, it's a matter of time as well you know you we don't have to rush that much we just need to do things in the right way and and things will turn up nicely so uh i, I look forward to see this thing growing and see more challenge you know more rounds more riders so this thing will grow thanks very much You're welcome. thank you Cheers.